Hello. Uh, welcome back to Stone Shard. Usually I start in the in the inn room, however, uh, I forgot to today. So here we are. Now we're in the inn room. Let's begin. I believe... I don't remember where we are, honestly. Oh, I think I walked around the town. We met everyone there was to meet. And we are going to go on our quest over to Dirty Mound. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you know, Stone Shard's intro is a little different than Ratropolis's. I tried to kind of standardize the intro across everything I'm doing here, but not easy. Mercenary work, come on and Hey, do you need any help? I'm an open bounty at the moment. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the mayor, right? He's selling, he's got a map. Okay, right, let's head out. I don't think there's anything else I need to do here, right? Let's, let's do a little inventory management. Give me a moment here. Manage the inventory so that I have it all settled up in my mind here. Is there anything that I'm missing? I could use more food, right? If something, if it, things go poorly, I'm gonna need a little more food than this. Let's grab a little more food, and then let's hit the road. But yeah, stone shards, uh, fun. As always, excited to play it. A food trader, does this spoil? This does not spoil. Oh, mm, I shouldn't take this. It's only 5%. I'll just take some cheese. Let's we'll take two things of cheese with me. This place is interesting for food. There's no meat vendor, it looks like. There's veggies, there's like cheese and milk, and then there's wine. No meat, huh? Does this guy sell meat, maybe? No, this guy just sells a bunch of garbage. <laughs> Who wants real things? I just want meat. I think let's just set out, and if it goes poorly and I die, so be it. We're going to Dirty Mound, which is north. Let's hit the road. Is there an herbalist in this town, by the way? You know what, that's, that's what I need to do before we leave, actually. I need to see if there's an herbalist. Let's take a look around. Anyway, Stone Shard is good. I don't know how much more of this game there is. I'm surprised that there's this, honestly. I did not expect it. What are you? Peasant? Alright, get away from me. Don't touch me. But imagine if I were an herbalist. I mean, I'm just gonna walk around the whole town and look for a place that has a sign. Seems like all of the important buildings are marked, at least. There's a little cooking fire here, how nice. No, Stone Shard, I think I... I don't know if I'm going to replace Stone Shard or if I'm just going to kind of take it easy when I reach whatever the ending of Stone Shard is. Right, the the every other day slot isn't... This isn't too bad, right? It's like 20 to 40 minutes every other day. Merchant's daughter. She coyly glances at you. Where is the merchant? I don't care about this hoe. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you a hoe. That's You're, you're probably a very nice lady. It's just... Uh, Look, I'm here to make, here to make some trade. Right? Merchant's daughter? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. This episode should be going up tomorrow. Normally, with Stone Shard, I take a night off and then just do a big recording session. That's not what I did this week. I, instead, my night off was... Uh, a day other than the normal day I take off, which is Thursday or Friday. I take one of those two days. This week I took Tuesday off because I had a really bad storm. And so, but instead of actually doing anything productive on that day, I just kind of sat around. It's nice, you know, it's really, it's been nice. I've been giving myself like actual almost full days off where I don't do anything at all. Because it's weird to be like, yeah, well, streaming is what I'm doing and like content creation is what I'm doing. But it is what I'm doing, right? I had I had made attempts to do other things. Like I was trying to, I was applying for a bunch of jobs and such. But then, you know, I don't know if you noticed, but it's not exactly a good time to, uh, to be looking for work. Is this game super long? Kinda. Oh yeah. They're not. Oh, he just didn't move. Okay. And so this is what I'm doing for at least the next few months until this whole 
virus thing blows over, which is fine, but it's easy for me to end up in that mindset where I'm like, well, this isn't a real job. It's just a hobby, you know, and ultimately it is like this isn't enough to support myself, but I, it's still it's not what I would normally be doing at this time, right? I would normally be getting pushed a lot in this area. What the I mean, right now, if I were if I were not trying to keep up, with, what the fuck is this move? Oh, that's fire burn. I don't know. If I were not trying to keep up a consistent upload schedule, uh, I would be asleep, or at least on my way to bed. Poison. Ah. Am I gonna die? Forty-five percent. What are you at? Sixty-six percent. I need. I think this guy's gonna kill me. Okay. Can I? I can. I'm dead. Holy shit! He beat the shit out of me. What the hell? That was insane. All right, let's try it again. I don't think I actually. I didn't do anything, so I'm just gonna head right out. Right. There's no reason to fuck around here. But no, it's been nice. It's been uh, when I started streaming, I was like, yeah, I could do this all the time, every single day, seven days a week, six hours a night. And that's what I was doing. And it was fine. But eventually I hit a point where I was like, man, I, I didn't, I, I would, I would take a night off, basically. I, I wouldn't do it often. I'd do like once a month. I would be like, all right, you know what? Tonight I'm just going to do nothing. But it's nice to, I think it's good to have just like a consistent, but if you're, if you're out there and you're an aspiring content creator, you know, this isn't, this isn't crazy advice. This isn't anything too wacky, but like. Take a day off. Give yourself, like, set a, set a solid schedule and make sure that schedule includes one day where you don't create content. Or if you think you can handle it, just, just keep going. Like, power through, I guess, right? Don't listen to me. I was like that. I heard the advice of, like, hey, just, like, take a night or two off. Make yourself feel better. Like, take a, take a night and just do whatever you want to do. Because it's weird doing content creation for video games. Because... What do I do in my free time? Well, I play video games. What do I do in my non-free time? Uh, uh, also play video games. I just basically at this point I have it separated into what I play for fun and what I play uh, for content, right? Stone Shard, Ratropolis, Slay the Spire, Hades, I play and I make sure I'm recording or streaming it. And then like Mountain Blade, Banner Lord, Fallout 4, although not so much, I'm done with Fallout 4, but anyway, Fallout 4, I just play in my free time. Games where I don't have to think, right? Because providing, providing constant commentary, it can be taxing, so anyway. What are we doing here? We're doing pretty good. This, you know what we started with a deck? It's good to die every now and then to remember that I'm not immortal. That time, though, I cut that dumbass's head off, and he's now sleeping with the fishes if the fishes are the body not having... Po the If the fishes are the body not having police, is what I just was about to say. Oh, shit, I forgot to upload Ratropolis today, too. That's what I need to do. Uh, <laughs> good thing I remembered that. Gonna... Finish this episode, go lay down, and then go, I didn't forget anything today, right? Oh wait, Ratropolis! Those videos should be up uploading right now. Like, I should have those set to upload with the everything all settled up so that I can just, like, press upload and go. But I forgot, and I'm not gonna, like, pause the recording and then stitch this together or cut out the dead air. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, and here we are. That journey went a lot better. So this area seems to have a lot of, if you travel by road, you're going to get ambushed by banditos. And I believe, so this is a cemetery that has a necromancer. So we're keen to find some undead around here. Keen? Is that the right usage of the word keen? I don't think it is. We are prone to finding undead around. Oh, I didn't buy food. That's what I forgot. Oh, well. I won't need food if I just don't get hit. Mr. Skeletal, how's it going? Skeleton Axe. Execute order. 
66. So we can't make this skeleton bleed, which I think does hurt a little bit. Oh yeah, that's right. I think the sar there's like a special sarcophagi in here, we'll see, that will spawn a little spooky ghost. But otherwise we're free to loot and pillage. Ah, B. For some reason I keep trying to hit B for backpack. That's not right. I should, I should rest up before we pop open that bad boy door though. I think I am gonna also just eat these herbs. Yeah. This dungeon crawling mode activated. Enough of me uh, waxing poetic about the, 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 the content creation of, that I do. Oh, hello. Is that an archer? Guard. Skeleton. Boar. Ooh, that's a 19 that he did that. That's a lot of damage. Okay. One of these, one of these I'm gonna pop it open, there's gonna be a live skeleton in there and I'm just gonna lose my goddamn mind. The jump scare of a lifetime. Hello. Oh, if I, if I did not click in there, I would have gotten a sneak attack. You gonna shield block me? I'm just gonna step away. What was that? What was that? Was that not shield block? Ray shield, whatever it is called. Oh, it was. Uh, anyway, I will continue my rest. Go and heal back up to full. I'm not too worried about maintaining my hunger. We should be fine. Take this lock. Take this lock. Continue to detect traps. This dungeon is very strange looking. Got some pretty killer music though. Gotta say. There's a trap. Almost triggered. I wouldn't, do you take damage if you trigger the trap? You probably do. That would make sense. I don't know. I, every time I crack one of those open, I like prepare myself. Like, like I, I feel a little, a little sink in the stomach. You know, I don't like that. Gun. You know, what? I'm not opening any of these. All I've found in them so far is three dollars. I don't like it. I've decided I will no longer be opening those those uh, copper guy. If you're upset about that, take it up with HR. I'm HR. Detecting traps in video games like this is very strange because... Oh no, I don't like it as a mechanic, I don't think. Because you just gotta like, I just have to... Every time I walk into a room, I just have to remember to press 1. It should just be a passive thing, in my opinion. Oh wait, you can walk on it? It's just, it's, it's really just the art of remembering to press one from time to time. I don't think there's gonna be any food in any of these urns. Now that I think about it, the dead probably don't have any food with them. Will I defeat the necromancer in this room or will we perish? I mean, he's not in this room, to be fair. But we have, we've done a dungeon like this before, so I'm not, I know more or less what to expect, right? I know that, oops. I know what to expect. I'm not, I was about to say, I know that clicking this is going to hurt my sanity, so I'm not going to do that. And then I clicked it. <laughs> Oops. I mean, we got Unholy Blessing, which is a pretty huge buff. But I'd like to use it on, like, the boss, for example. Hello, sir. I have lifesteal. You cannot defeat me. Farewell. I'm just gonna run. We're gonna go. I'm gonna try and get to the boss with this buff. Found the way forward. We gotta recover a phylactery on this one. That's right, because he's like a... Oops. That was a mistake. Sir? You a skeletal mage? You are a skeleton. Ah, shit. He's gone. I was hoping he was gonna take one more step forward, and I was gonna be able to... Uh, get, the, get the sneak attack on him. Please pass away. Thank you. I am in pain and I have been forced, which is my way of saying I've been cursed. I wonder if you can play stealth in this game. I've said that a few times now, but I still wonder. Can you play stealth? I imagine not. Cause like he's gonna see me anyway. Alarm, alarm, etc. Cetera, et cetera. I'm unkillable. You don't understand. 
It is useless. I have life steal, you fool. Parry? Oh, he's using parry. How long does parry last? Seven turns? One, two, three, four, five. Ah! That's a free crit. I think his parry has been good. What if I shield? Temple's pounding, what the fuck? Where'd that even come from? How do you have line of sight? Wait, what? Oh my god, it's him! Oh god! Oh jeez, oh god, oh fuck! <laughs> oh no! Ah, okay, okay, okay. How do I get out of here? Uh, ooh, wee. I need to, I need to kill this enemy. He summoned another skeleton! What a nightmare! Pain shock. Every few turns- oh my god, I've never seen this before. What's my pain in here? Oh, that's bad. They they get an attack of opportunity. Oh my god, you can't move diagonally. I'm dead. Alright, fuck. I thought I could move diagonally there. I was wrong. Interesting. Let's try that again. Take a little more food, not accidentally aggro the boss, etc, etc. Huh. Well, as we travel, I guess I'll just continue to bullshit. I don't know. In in essence, what I was talking about earlier boils down to uh, I don't have to do something every day. That's kind of what I'm starting to feel like lately. I've been I've been kind of going through a been going through a I must be doing something every single day to be sure that I'm feeling productive, and I don't know if I necessarily need to. That's all. Maybe I can take a day off and it's okay. Until I until my day off though, uh, what am I gonna what am I gonna do with the YouTube next? That's a great question. Uh, I keep talking about all these cool ideas I have, but it's so hard. I just I feel I have an idea and then I start to think about the actual logistics of making that idea come to fruition and then the idea falls apart. See reviewing Phoenix Point. The Hades Guide ho is something I don't think I, I mean I haven't mentioned it in Stone Shard, but I'm planning on making like a hey beginner's guide to Hades. Because a lot of people have been like, hey, do you got any tips for a first time Hades player? I just picked up the game and I'm getting absolutely destroyed. That would be something that I could do. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that I could do. It's just a matter of actually going out there and doing them, right? I don't know. I haven't been in much of a doing mood lately. Which is bad, I should try to at least do something new, right? It's an ambush. Whoa, who could have seen this come? Nothing too terrible here this time. I can get out of this with, like, minimal health loss. Which it looks like I lose. Raise shield, huh? How do you... I guess you gotta just, like, make sure you don't... Hit the enemy. Like, I gotta make sure I don't click on the the squid the item I'm trying to that's on the square. That's holy shit. That's it. Uh, let me let me try that one again. How do you not? How do you move to that square without picking up the weapon? Okay, I guess you have to click on the not the weapon on the square. That's what I was trying to say there, but I. Did not finish the question before my brain figured out the answer. Is what just occurred. I I was I was asking the question and then as I was asking the question I figured out the answer and then I went okay. Now that I understand I will just explain the answer while also forgetting to tell you the question. Okay. You'll forgive me. It's late. I'm not recording this one in the afternoon. I'm all I'm all caught up on Retropolis for tomorrow. Oh, I, but I did not have a stone shard in the tank. And as a result, I decided to get a stone shard ready now instead of doing it when I wake up tomorrow. Although stone shard, I'm pretty lax on when I upload. It's like around midday every other day. But... I'm not too worried about it. We got a lot of bog beam. We're gonna pop a few of these on the regular fight. You can raise your shield against me. 
You cannot raise your shield. I am shield. Like a, you know, eat a little cheese, drink a little water, and get down to them. Yeah, when they when they raise shield, they have a pretty good counter to the enemies raising their shield, right? With uh, keeping distance, I just take a step back and then raise my shield myself. I've gone through most of my enemies. This is actually a great time for masochism to show its work. Also, I crit this guy? Or not? I guess I won't. Every seven turns. I thought I got more energy back per turn. Every turn, thanks to Masik. Yeah, I do. Okay. Let us. I'm good on pain, right? With the pain resistance from Bog Bean, I took almost no pain there. Wow, that's a that's a really low amount of pain to have taken for the, those three fights. That pain resistance is huge. Holy moly. Yeah, we came out of that so much better with the Bog Bean. I'll pop a little time and a little Bog Bean before we go fight the boss. I wonder if they stack. Fumbled my attack on some pots, huh? What am I? The war on drugs? <laughs> oh, it was a it was a disastrous time in the United States history. Reagan era politics were uh, I don't actually know anything. I don't know enough about this to make an actual political statement here, so I'm going to end this line of dialogue here. However, I, if you were to ask me how I feel about the war on drugs, I would say probably pretty bad, right? I think they were not a good thing. 91%. Let's do it. I think it's something that the, uh, the repercussions of can still be felt to this day. However, I am not a historian. And I was also not alive during that time, so I don't know. Yo, unidentified shield, wait a minute. Hold up. War on drugs. Who cares? Give me that shield. Am I right? Now I need to identify. I don't have a scroll. I have a disenchantment scroll. Probably can throw. Oh well, too late now. This is fast. I'm not too worried about clearing this dungeon not entirely. I want to see if there's a special sarcophagus in every one of these that has a little ghost that you fight. Sometimes the doors in these generate in a funny way. Look at this. I can respect it. That's one of those things that they gotta... Oof. Ouch. They gotta work out. Are you moving up on me? If you're... If that's moving up, then I... Move in out. I love when the AI can't get to you too and they just start hitting something in anger. This dude's just beating the shit out of his pedestal over here, waiting. You know what? Let's pop another bog bean. I got four more. It's a good time for it. Let's take a look at our pain, by the way. We're at 24%. But it does go down every round. Yeah, he will get me. Will he get me? Oh, he's getting me. Wait a minute. Close the door. Why can't- oh, because I'm in the doorway. I can't close the door. I picked up the rib cage instead of closing the door. Oh, what a disaster. Run. Get me out of here. Now, we. I do know the trick, right? You can just rest on this tile. They, there are enemies nearby. <gasps> the trick has been fixed. What a great... Holy shit. Go to hell, idiot. So you can't just, like, leave the map and then have the enemies not spawn now. That's good to know. That's an important change that I now know. And drink up, go ahead and eat up. Let's get ourselves nice and rested here. Thankfully, we're not taking too many major injuries. Our pain is very manageable thanks to the bog beans. Truly, I think it's the best herb. Oh, what did I just pick up? Bone away from me. There's only one bone I want. Let's see. Well, I think that's like multiple. I think there's five members of the bone thugs. But those are, that's the only bone that I'm interested in, right? There. The bone thugs and harmony. You know, while we're, while we're just in between battles here, here's a little interesting piece of trivia for you. Did you know 
Uh, on the Bone Thugs and Harmonies classic song, The Crossroads. I think it's The Crossroads. Hang on. How does the story go? Wait a minute. I started saying this and I remembered. Wait, I don't remember what the story is about. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know I'm here. You fool! What song was it? There's a basically. There's a song by a popular. Like there's a popular song, a big hit by a rap group from the '90s. And I remember there's a really nice chorus, or like a really nice refrain. I don't know if that's how you use the word refrain, but a really nice something or other. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd this guy come? I don't remember what it is though. But, like a nice chorus sung by someone, I was like, yo, who sings this chorus? I'm pretty sure it was related to the Bone Thugs and Harmony as well. You'd have to go listen to their music. It's definitely not The Crossroads, because The Crossroads is definitely them on the song. I don't know. I'll report back to you. Probably, I'll probably talk about this in Metropolis, now that it's on my mind. Anyway. There's a song though where I, I went to look up like, hey, who sings, who sings the chorus on this? This is a really nice chorus. And I just kind of assumed it was one of the members of the Bone Thugs. It was definitely the Bone Thugs, by the way, now that I'm thinking about this. Anyway, turns out the person who sang that refrain was just some random lady that they pulled off the street and they never credited her, credited her or gave her any royalties. Now I remember hearing that and going, what the fuck? What a strange song. What a strange turn of events. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. After I kill this guy, because there's gonna be more. They're gonna come for me. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on what that, what that uh, piece of trivia is about. Oh, my leg. How could you? I don't think they'll chase me up to here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I'll, uh, at least I'll t uh, for sure, if I find the answer, I'll tell you about it in the next episode of this game. But I will also talk about it in something else. So if you watch Retropolis, check out... Uh, what is today? Today is going... This, is, this episode will be up on the... 11th? Yeah, this will be up on the 11th. So... Watch Retropolis on the 12th. Like, watch the morning episode on the 12th. And I'll probably answer this question for myself. And also for you. Or you could just look it up. You know. I, just, I can't remember which song it is that has a song, like a, a refrain that made me go... A refrain that I liked enough that I went, Yo, I gotta figure out who sings this. I wanna hear more of this. And again, it might not be a, a, a refrain. Why can I not charge this anymore? He's cursing me. I can't charge. How strange. Now I can charge. Could I have charged here? Maybe not. Last stand. Yeah, that is your last stand. Because you're freaking dead. Fucking god. Holy shit, he's dead. Undead. Because I killed him twice. Killed him back to life. I gotta do something about this pain. Just drink some alcohol. Clear the meat out. Uh, let's... I think I will... It's better to wait out this buff not resting, I believe, because I think you take more hunger if you're resting. I believe that was a mechanic they explained to me. Could be wrong. Traps. You know, checking for traps is a very, like, standard RPG thing, though. So I can't be too mad. Gotta watch out. We're gonna, like, round a corner and run into the boss. He's definitely on this floor. He's probably at the end of this hallway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some herbs in preparation. Oh, hello. Hey, uh, didn't see you there. You're in a horrible position for yourself, by the way. Oh wait, never mind. I'm in a horrible position. I just stood there and took it. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. He sucks. Okay, man. Man, he's dead. Watch me die to this fucking skeleton now. Okay, thank God I crit him twice. <laughs> I was gonna be a little upset. 
Frenzy. Crit efficiency, crit chance, and pain resistance, but higher damage taken. Oh, this is a new... Uh, this is a new status. Failed. Failed! Oh, ho, ho, that was scary. Oh, we got the Phylactery. Phylactery gives you unholy resistance, lower damage taken, damage reflection, health restoration, and sacred resistance down. Okay. And two Aquamarines, a pretty good set of loot, if I say so myself. Try and rest up. So this, this state seems interesting. Go into a Frenzy, you take more damage, you're resistant to pain, and you have a higher crit chance, and your crits do more. That's why I crit him twice. That skeleton, anyway. Dagger Treatise 1, by the way. Unidentified Potion. Killing bosses feels good. Feels real good. You get a bunch of cool shit. Read this, have I? I have already read Dagger Treatise 1. Oh, that noise from the... Hang on. Can I get another one of those? That's a nice sound. Alright, let's return. I don't think I'm gonna full clear this dungeon out. I don't think there's any reason to risk it. Although I have defeated Mr. Boss. You know what? Let's go see. Because if there's a... Ah, hello. I should, I should get the... Uh, you know block arrows? Or is that just very unfortunate, the timing? My block chance right now. Bleed chance. Where's block chance? Survival... 79%. It's, maybe it's just I was unfortunate. Yeah, it was probably just unfortunate. Okay, we leveled up. Megalomania. Maybe I'm not as good as I think I am. I love the, the one attack and then you just go back and forth for four hits there. There's more in here. Uh, let's, let's level up real quick. I think I want to just pump up Vitality here, get a little more health. That's what I've been doing, that's probably what I should do here. Is that or is like pump up strength a little more? Now nah, let's do Vitality. Give myself more HP. Oh god, oh dear. What have I done? This won't stop. Oh, I almost died. Oh, that would have been so unfortunate. I don't know why I just walked in there like that. Get me out of here. Let's get somewhere safe and let's rest. Before I pass away. I should just leave. Why am I still here? Took the herbal extract to uh, clear the pain. And I drink some water to clear the intoxication. Because water does dilute intoxication pretty well. Pain's gone. I think we're ready to head out. Hit the road. We'll go back, we'll sell off some stuff, turn in this quest. I think actually I will go back to town, sell off some stuff, and then not turn in the quest. Oh, this is the super sarcophagus that has an enemy, actually. Let's, let's crack this bad boy open. I really walk right by this. Holy shit. Triple attacked me. And it missed every attack. Wait, this ghost sucks. That was a garbage ghost. You deserve no wonder you're fucking dead. Holy shit, you sucked. You missed every attack. This was definitely worth though. Oh, I got two unidentified daggers here. Could uh, switch into dagger mean. I am out of food. Not great. Look at all the. I like I like the corpse decaying, in this game. Look at how these skeletons are starting to decay. The bones are starting to fall apart. Oh yeah, that's right. When you walk out of one of these, there's also a bunch of these goons. Small ghoul. I think I'm just gonna try and sneak out. Uh oh. You know what? I bet they just come out at night. You know what? I bet they just come out at night. That would make more sense. 
And I don't, I always, I venture to both of these dungeons during the day, so I never saw them. I bet that's it. Is that guy aggroed on him? No, he's just coming back out the noise. There's a lot of them. They're not particularly scary. Yeah, I just, I don't know why I struck him twice there, but like, nice. Uh, this, this is where a <laughs> shout ill advised. But also, hey, idiot. No, I'll just kill them all. They're doing, like, they're very bad. They're very easy to kill. Let's, uh, let's get overconfident and die. How's that sound? Good? Good. Alright, alright. You too, you too. You can go, you can die too. Where are you going? Some of them are just running. Can you go over here, by the way? No? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's begin our return journey. Hopefully I don't get killed in an ambush. No one poisons me and then crits me. Ideally. The bog bean. I do want to take the... I don't know. I don't need two of these. I'm going to take a time with me just to be safe. And let's return. I, so, we're at 36 minutes in this video. And what I don't want to do here is I don't want to spend like 15 minutes just walking around town selling things and have this be like an hour long episode because I recognize that that's what I do towards the end of these runs trying to shop around and give myself the best possible deal but instead of doing that I mean also if it's nighttime and there's no merchants I'm just gonna go to bed and we'll do the shopping tomorrow that's also viable moving in this game doesn't always feel right Sometimes I feel like my character just stops moving for no reason. I almost wish- can I- can I move? Oh, I can move with... Mouse button. Remember this ambush? The crow's feast. It's weird, if you- if you hold- If I just hold down left- or down arrow, it does not go as fast as clicking. But if I spam down arrow, it like- Oh, this is weird. So, if you start moving with a click and then spam down arrow, you move at the maximum pace. Otherwise, you move at this pace, where it's like a little step, pause, step, pause. If you start moving with the, with the mouse and then just keep going, you can keep this pace. How odd is that? But I learned it. Looks like it is actually coming to be daytime. We spent the entire night in that dungeon. Is that for real? Oh, this is the winery. Hmm. Right. I'll have to inspect that at some point. It is daytime. All right. We'll do a quick sell. I'll just sell to the the dude in the center of town. I'll just sell everything to the general goods guy. It easier that way. Bow or shattered shield. What are you selling? Oh yeah, I should uh Oh wait, I'll get everything I need and then I'll look at shield repairs versus if I want to use this. There's some nails for you, miss. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell this guy all the gym. Mr. Carpenter. And I'll go sell the rest of the stuff over here. Oh, what are you selling? I would like to buy ID scroll. He has one. I have a lot more things than one to ID. How much is this, by the way? 40 gold? Reasonable. I want to ID the shield. Ooh, this is a nice shield. Counter chance and rending resist. Okay. I'm going to sell you my current shield. This bad boy. Although, this does only give me one protection. Oh well. Too late now. But sold is sold. wonder if he... You don't have a dagger treatise. Why are you... Also, is the, the treatises are changing, aren't they? He had different treatises last time, I think. I'm going to grab a smoked ham for that inventory efficiency. And then... I think I will... I think I'll just hold off on the rest of this. I want to ID a bunch of stuff. If I have to, I'll just store it. Uh, I don't want veggies. Here, I want some cheese. 
This seems like the best bang for your buck here. 24 gold for 30 or 20% hunger. Seems like the way to go. Let's refill the water skin. I just bought a bucket. Give this shit away. Fill the water skin and drink up. Anything I'm missing here that I should have sold? Don't think so. Just have a bunch of stuff to store when we go into the town. Or into the tavern. Here about my reward. Here's your... Oh, 500 or 425 gold. Do you need any help? Lost Relic and Bandit's Den. I will take Lost Relic. Old Tomb, the final resting place of Saint Eba. Our, pray, our, saint, our patron saint, praise be your name. When hard times come to Osbrook, we make a pilgrimage to her sarcophagus, which, with, where a miraculous figurine is being stolen. Recently, some vile wretch found his way into the crypt. I believe he is there to defile the holy place. I can't even imagine what kind of calamity it will fall us if he we succeed. Send in the crypt, kill the villain, bring our relic back. It's a righteous deed. We won't hold back the reward. The whole village is ready to chip in. Sure. Five days. Cool. I will do that next episode. I guess I could buy from here, huh? This is probably a good place to buy fruit as well. Fruit? Did I say fruit? I meant food. That one sounded like fruit, though. To me. Just pop everything that's not... Uh... Oh, I need to sell the brooch as well. Pop in any unidentified garbage here. And I think can I wear this? And the potion as well. Go ahead and rest up and I will say to you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for being here with me for this time. I hope you have a good day. Farewell.